Yakubu Galadima, the lawyer for the whistleblower who informed the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission of the 13 billion naira recovered from an apartment in Ikui, says his client will not accept anything below 5% commission. Well, with us here to discuss this issue is Tosi Akonde. He is a lawyer and also to bring his thoughts to bear on this very matter. Thanks a lot for being with us in the news hour. So, but not only now. Thank this, you, Esther. Yeah, not only now is the lawyer of the client insisting that five percent be paid. He is also claiming that the man in question that blew the whistle hasn't been paid any single penny, not even a dime as at present. Although the Ministry of Finances is working on that, but. My question is, how does this encourage whistleblowing policy? Because this back and forth we're having between the government, the client, is it really necessary? Oh, well, um, to answer your question, I'd like to reassure you that it's going to keep encouraging whistleblowing policies because when I first uh, got wind of this news, two things struck me. Number one, um, what will happen? to the protection that is supposed to be offered to the whistleblowers. Mm -hmm. Now that the lawyer, mm -hmm. whose name I mention with respect because he's a colleague, now that he's insisting that, look, it has to be this, it has to be that. Once we know your agent, it's easy to track your principal. Mm -hmm. So he's going to expose his client. So I think uh, the man probably was ill-advised to continue to insist he's going to get 5%. Besides, I've done a thorough analysis of the whistleblowing you know, policy. It's not an act yet. Nigerians should know that. It's not an act yet of the National Assembly mm -hmm. because, yes, the Senate has passed it in June 2017, but the House of Reps is yet to pass it. And then it's yet to even get to the President to be assented. Right. So it's not yet an law. act of the National Assembly. It's not yet law. Mm -hmm. It's just a policy initiated by the executive vis-a-vis -vis the Federal Ministry of Finance. Now, in their own policy statement, they have said that, look, according to international best practices, the higher the sum that we are going to you know, recover, mm -hmm. the lesser mm -hmm. the percentage will be. Mm -hmm. The higher the sum. So, and they even graded it. If you got 500 million naira or less, you get this. If you got one, between 1 billion and this, you get this. So I, was, I began to wonder, what kind of Nigerian is that whistleblower? Because for me, yes, in that, other words, if you, I get 325 words, million naira no, now, in I'm other okay, words, I'm 235, 235 actually. In other words, you're justifying um, the government for offering 235 um, million naira as compensation rather than the 5%. Having studied uh, all uh, fronts. Compensation, right. But having, having studied, studied all, all fronts, fronts, right? Then where is the place of integrity? That's what I'm saying, that having studied all fronts. Because if you look at the policy statement, mm. it says already that one, at no time would any whistleblower get more than 5%. True. Then it said, look, there are instances where even the government can decide to vary. If you read, that's why you shouldn't do things, as we say in law, if you can't spend the time, don't do the crime. If you're going to be doing whistleblowing, study all the um, policies for now that regulate whistleblowing policies. So, and that's a lesson for Nigerians. You will know that if you're going to be talking about funds that is in a little bit in excess of 1 billion, know that for sure you are not likely to get 5% because these things have been stated in the policy already. So you His lawyer say, should know that. So you're saying that the, 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 the lawyer, you know, jumped the gun. He didn't follow due process. In my humble opinion, I wouldn't do this ordinarily because it's unethical, but um, I think the man was ill-advised. But looking at this critically, what is the right way to dealing with this issue? Because this is talking about security. I talked about, for, for instance, the, I, the like first issue earlier. for me I talked about is the protection of the security. That's it. As a matter of fact, the act that is being cooked up now in the National Assembly is tagged witnesses protection in bracket bill. You need to protect them. For instance, there are instances um, in the Police Service Commission. There are instances at the Women Development Center in Abuja. There are instances in the Ministry of Aviation where whistleblowers were dismissed. Right. There are instances, don't also forget, the pardon issue. Abdul Mumin Jubrin. He was suspended for 181 legislative days because he came up with something. Right. So you need to protect right. the identity. When we know your agent, we can easily track you your principal. You already said Yakubu Galadima is someone, your, co your colleague, of course, someone you um, respect a lot. So from your experience, on what side, on what uh, 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 stance was he basing this position to go it's ahead it's to obvious. Um, insist that it's, he it's gets obvious. 5%? The, the more the money, the more my commission as a, as a lawyer. So at the end of the day, that's why I said, on a second thought, mm. after having considered offers, like I told you, I was like, could this be greed? 
Because the policy statement already said, fine, nobody will get at no time more than 5%. But the government can vary. The higher the sum, we are talking about something, funds in excess of 13 billion. Mm -hmm. So the higher the sum, the more lesser, the more, the, more, the more likely you get a lesser percentage. All right, before I let you go, briefly now, what do you think the whistleblower should do in this case? Study the policy statement before you go and whistleblow. If you go and whistleblow without having studied it, that's when you'll be asking for what you're not supposed to be asking All right, for. so soon, we'll leave it here for now and hope that this matter is resolved as peacefully as possible. Thank you very much Thank for you joining too. us here Thank on you. News Hour. It's all right.